as the clock keeps ticking, the push for federal funding continues to grow. News Channel 9's Adrian Smith joining us live at Syracuse City Hall. She was at the mayor's press briefing earlier today. Adrian, good afternoon. Thanks for being here. You know, it, it feels like it's crunch time for the city. Uh, does the city have any kind of a timeline when it comes to the need for federal funding? Christy, the mayor said Labor Day is actually a really important time for the city, and if the city does not receive the federal funding by then, then that's when they'll need to start looking at reducing staff and um, service cuts as well. Now, the steps that they have taken so far, those right now are temporary. However, the unpaid leave for more than 100 and city employees, a voluntary leave program, and a new incentive for early retirement is the next phase. But in order for the city to achieve the project, projected $25 million in savings, and that's the amount needed to happen without the federal aid, the mayor says it won't be able to happen without making layoffs and those service reductions. So we're talking to our representatives and, and those that are observing what's happening in Washington. I think it's important to remember uh, that the the best thing that can happen for us right now is the Senate passes a bill that has uh, state and local aid in it. If I was a betting person, do I think that uh, that's going to happen? I don't think I'd take that bet. Uh, Senator, uh, Senator McConnell has, uh, has not given any indication uh, that he has any appetite for that. Before the COVID-19 pandemic, the city was projecting a 1.5 million surplus. Now, the mayor also today just praising Senator Gillibrand and Senator Schumer for supporting local governments receiving this federal aid. And the mayor said that it needs to happen sooner rather than later. Live in Syracuse, Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. And we appreciate the update, Adrian. Thank you.